Hi, I'm Lorraine Slaymaker here in Rockland, Maine, here to talk with Bernie Blum, Senior Consultant for Container Yachts, to talk about the FH-39. Bernie, tell us about the FH-39 and why is it different? The FH-39 offers the first practical alternative for sailors who want to cruise the world in their own boat without the hazards, cost, and strain of ocean crossings and to do it without the distractions of the maintenance and difficulties encountered in larger cruising boats. That said, let's look at how the FH-39 accomplishes this. First and most importantly, the FH-39 can be shipped in a standard 40-foot high-cube container, an economical, safe, and flexible way to transport your boat. How is it done? After taking down the mast, removing the keel, rudder and sail drive, the yacht is rolled into the container on inflatable rollers which travel with the boat. How long does it take to do this? It takes about one day to decommission and load and put the boat back in the water. What is the cost to container ship the boat including freight and transportation? Cost is about $7,500 from in the water to back in the water. What's been your experience? In the last four years, we've container shipped boats from Croatia to California, Oregon to Alaska, Florida to the Caribbean, Caribbean to Holland, and England to Annapolis. Inbox, the boat here, made four of those trips. The FH-39 has a narrow beam. What's the effect of this? The narrow beam results in an exceptionally fast boat. We surf at over 11 knots in heavy seas, power reach under sail at 9 plus and motor at 8 plus. We placed seventh out of 23 boats in the highly competitive 160 nautical mile Lauderdale Key West race. Her shape provides for economical motoring. Typically, fuel consumption is around one half gallon per hour, resulting in 10 miles per gallon of fuel with her 75 gallon tank, she has an exceptional range of over 700 nautical miles at cruising speed. How does the narrow beam affect her stability? Bob Perry designed a boat to be highly stable. A 4,400 pound lead bulb keel combined with a chined hull form gives her a stability you won't find in conventional wine glass hulls. The FH-39 has an angle of vanishing stability of 147 degrees, about 15% greater than comparable boats. Let's look at the boat. First of all, we have a tiller, which is an alternate to the wheel in the pilot house. Uh, you control the main sheet with a ratchet block right here, which is right at hand, and then you have two winches for your jib sheets. Both of them are self-tailing Lumar winches. Uh, Having an open transom like that makes it very easy to get in and out of the dinghy when you're cruising. This is where you control the boat. You've got everything you need for safe, efficient cruising. You've got a GPS cartography, VHF, wireless uh, instruments for performance, engine controls, autopilot, and a anchor windlass switch. Uh, going forward, you have the galley area, sink, three burner stove, plus an oven, refrigerator, and a freezer, and lots of counter space. And this is a salon area. You've got two set T berths, uh, comfortable seating, and they work for at sea. You've got a fold down drop leaf table, which comfortably seats four. The head was expanded so that we can take hot showers at sea. The fore cabin has two hanging lockers, a six foot five double berth, shelving, and reading lights. Okay, up in the bow, we have a 44 pound Delta self-launching anchor. That's connected to 40 feet of chain and then rope from there on in, it's spliced together. The head stay is back from the bow, so when we fly the asymmetric spinnaker, there's a separation. Okay, going back aft to the mast, what we've got here is all your sail controls are right here. You've got two halyard winches and the stoppers, so everything you need to do, hoisting and reefing, you've got all in one place, sort of one-stop sail control. 
in 2007, we went through the uh, Yutta Canal across Sweden. It was its 100th anniversary. Actually, it was its 200th anniversary. This is a stamp we got to put on this. This is our permit that we got to put on the mast. We are now building boats in Maine, here in Rockland, at Johansson's Bolt Works. Maine boat building has a worldwide reputation for quality and craftsmanship. Our next launch is scheduled for August. The bottom line, inbox, this Far Harbor 39 has sailed over 9,000 nautical miles, of which 1,800 were single-handed. That includes cruises through the Caribbean and Northern Europe, plus over 10,000 nautical miles of container and truck transport. And as they say, she still shows like new.